Welcome back to the vlog. Okay, so it's like a new day. Yesterday was really cool. We went to go see a screening of a movie called Barbarian that's coming out August 31st. Um, we also, what else did we do yesterday? Um, we just showed you house. Create content. Yeah, um, create content. I filmed a, filmed a really cool video with Zig, like a reel that's coming out soon. You guys are gonna see. Mm -hmm. um, but now we're just chilling. We're about to get something for breakfast to eat from the store. Want some hash browns, some eggs, something quick, some or eggs? something good. No, <laughs> I made those really good pancakes the other day. I made some really good vanilla, um, it's vanilla and cinnamon sugar pancakes. They came out really good. I don't know. But yeah, um, just gonna chill today. I wanna go to the gym after I eat. Then we're gonna film a podcast with Ziggy. Just wanna sit by the pool for a little bit before. So just wanna get some food in my system, go to the gym, chill by the pool, get in the water while it's hot outside. It's supposed to be really hot today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says like 90 something. Oh, wow. So. I feel like people think that like LA is hot, but like this past summer has not gone above like yeah. we have we rarely had any ninety days. Like it's been like eighty, eighty five, if anything. Yeah, and the sun like it doesn't really stay out for long. Mm -hmm. Like by the time we like we work all during the morning and stuff. So it's right. Like, by the time we want to go outside and go to the pool, the sun is like rotated on the yeah. other different side of the pool. So there's no sun by the pool. <laughs> so I want to try to catch some sun by the pool today. But yeah, guys, we're going to go to the store really quick and then come back and cook and then eat. We answered some emails earlier. About to add some pictures later. All that good stuff. All that good stuff. Yeah. What's, What's up, up guys? guys? Okay, so we are currently about to go to a friend's podcast. Well, we're going to Ziggy's podcast. Yeah. yeah. We're going to do his podcast and just touch on a few like coming out topics. So we're going to do that for the next probably hour and... We'll probably grab something to eat after. Yeah, I'm hungry already. Yeah, pretty hungry already. But yeah, guys, we're excited about the podcast. Hopefully yeah, it runs really smooth. I hope so <laughs> too. I feel like it's a good topic. So like you know, yeah, I feel like coming out story or just like basis of being gay and coming out. So many different experiences. So, so I feel like it'll be a good podcast to talk about. Absolutely. But yeah, guys, we'll catch you guys in there. We'll record a little bit or as much as we can. Um. I'm sure the conversation is going to be great. So stay tuned, guys. We'll see you up there. <laughs>
I didn't know they had in LA. Um, I went to Buffalo Exchange a lot in New York. Like I used to shop there all the time because it was right close to FIT. If you know, you know. But um, now I'm about to go to the gym and then I'm gonna come back, get ready to hang out with my cousin Mecca because she is here from New York. She's currently shooting right now, but yeah, I'm gonna go to the gym in the meantime and get ready. We're gonna go out to eat and then go to Santa Monica Piers, check out the Piers, catch the sunset, just show her that whole like vibe of LA or California. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. Let me also show y'all my plants. Look at how great they're doing together. They're just like growing together. I'm just like so happy. Real plant dad shit. I'm excited for them to grow larger. Um, I feel like plants are such a learning experience because like, I feel like I didn't have a green thumb until I really like went through trial and error with one of my plants that I had to unfortunately let go of. But I learned a lot from that one plant, so. Now I have multiple, probably like on what, number six or seven now? 
but I definitely want to get more plants. So you guys should comment below what plant I should get. I already have a money tree. I have a Devin Baca. I have a Golden Pothos. I obviously have bamboo. I have um, a Diphus palm. So that's five. Oh, and a Birds of Paradise. So any other plant besides those ones, let me know what I should get in the comments, guys. But I'm going to go to the gym so I can hurry up and get this day, you know, get the gym out the way. I feel like the gym is what really takes up. No, it doesn't, actually, but I just like to get the gym done at least during the day because, like, the sun just feels good. Just seeing things during the day and doing things during the day just makes more sense. But, you yeah, guys. These days, I'm letting God handle all things above. The things I can't change are the reason you love me. Listen, you can hear them calling my name. I'm all over the place. I can't sit in one place. what's up guys all right so we just got back from the gym and honestly i'm looking in the mirror the body is is bodying right now like i haven't been to the gym in the past couple of weeks but yeah um we're gonna go we're actually supposed to go to the beach uh being that Rod's cousin mecca is here um she's actually here for a shoot but she just got done with her shoe. I know she's tired, so she wants to skip out on the beach. So we're most likely going to just go for dinner. I'm thinking maybe catch if we can get a reservation. Oh, I should see if we, I'm not going to bother. I really would like to go to the Nobu out here in LA, but I just know like the reservations literally be like booked on like two months in advance. So I'm not going to try and play myself with that one. But I'm about to shower. Rod's already in the shower. I'm about to join him. And y'all see this hair too? I love the fact that we're both blonde. We're like, we do everything together. We're like twins. It's so funny. But I'm gonna go shower, get dressed, and get ready for dinner. Um, probably take some pictures, just being that we just have our hair cut, need to get as much content in as possible. And yeah.
you guys saw, we had our morning routine. We are now currently about to go out to a few stores, specifically Wasteland, to see what they have. Ashley Link is coming up yes. and want to grab some looks to see what they got. Just gather some items to, you know, go there and do some fashionable things. Right, you know, regular regular. <laughs> regular regular, but yeah, we're going to do that. Stop by, maybe Chipotle, get something to eat, who knows. But yeah, we're just about to go out the house. It's really hot today. I believe it's like 97. Yeah, literally, it's crazy. It's funny how, like, it's September now. Well, it's about to be September tomorrow, but, like, it's already getting as hot as, because I feel like this whole entire summer hasn't been above, like, yeah. 85. It really hasn't been, like, that hot this summer at all. Mm. But I'm excited. I'm glad, you know, it'll be summer when it's fall for, you know, you guys on the East Coast. So, right. yeah. I'm excited, but everybody head out, guys. Um, Yeah. We just got some tank tops on, some mm, shorts. The tank day. Got the balances. I got the cute Converse. I know my bag, bag, bag. Yeah, it's really hot, and we got some sunscreen on. I've been getting a little tanny, tanny, tanny. Wait, when did we finish um this bottle? Oh yeah, I thought. Yeah, I was like, wait, wait, when did we finish? Yeah, guys, it? check out our bar car. Actually, we never showed them. Yeah, it's, this is a lot we have to show you guys in this apartment, but I know we got this bar car. It's really cool. Love it. Kind of decorated a little bit. Just gonna add some more wine down there. Still need a flower pot for this plant. Don't mind that. Got the plant sunbathing over there. Got the big body plant. Table, of course. Yeah, we're about to head out, guys. We'll see you guys here. What's up guys? Hey guys. All right, so we're about to hit the gym. We're going to Planet Fitness this time. And it's crazy, yeah. I haven't been to Planet Fitness our whole time that we lived there. Well, I know you usually go here. Yeah, I'll go here and there. Cause I saw my Planet Fitness membership from New York. Oh, $20 a month, baby, I don't know. <laughs> it's nothing for me, but anyways. <laughs> nah, um, I like to keep Planet Fitness because when you're traveling, it's like the gym that's in every city. And also mm -hmm. our gym at home doesn't have like everything. I would love to go to Gold's Gym, but I don't want to pay for a new membership because I already have this one. So, let's see what it gives. Today, I'm going to do back day, and I feel like I don't have the right proper tools at home to do back day. Yeah, I feel you. So, I'm going to like do some lat put downs, all that good stuff. I want to get my back real strong, guys. <laughs> so, I'll probably come here like once a week if I like it. This is going to determine if I come. It's kind of like a lot. <laughs> but Yeah, I'm like so used to working out like with just a little bit of people in the gym. So, like, right. Being surrounded by people fucking me like... Make me a little have anxiety or whatever. <laughs> but I'm excited to see what happens. Are you excited, babe? Um, I'm intrigued. Let's see how it goes. Mm -hmm. I got my mouth out the house to work out. I know he never works out. No, I'm good. All right, let's have everything else getting later. Good afternoon, guys. It's a new day. Um, I woke up probably about two and a half hours ago. Honestly, I started my day late today, but it is Thursday. It's Thursday, Thursday. You know, so who cares? But while my car is fixing my seat for me, because it's taking very long, I'm going to tell you guys where I'm about to go. I'm going to chirotherapy for the first time. It's for recovery, like muscle recovery or whatever. And I'm excited because I worked out really hard all week, and today is my rest day. And I'm actually one of my neighbors put me on to it he actually works there he's like come through um he's actually not even there today but i still booked anyways because i want to really try it out so basically i'll be getting in like a freezer for like three minutes and 30 seconds and then i'll also be laying on like a bed i don't know what exactly i'll be doing but i'll be doing it guys and i'll show you guys what exactly i'll be doing when i get there if i can record but i'm excited i'm excited to see how my body will feel after i know it's supposed to help with muscle recovery, sleeping, um, just overall energy and all that good stuff. So I'm excited to see what it gives. <sighs> Omar's not gonna come with me because he didn't really work out this week. So it's like no point for him to go, but I'm definitely gonna try it for the both of us. And yeah, I'm excited. I'm about to head there now. I'm kind of late. I'll probably get there exactly when I should. So yeah, I'll see you guys there. Oh, 
Okay guys, so I ended up doing the full body chirotherapy and the Novo therapy, I think that's what it's called. Yeah, Novo Thor, which is like a light pod. Um, the Cairo is like, you get in a freezer, guys. It's like an ice cold box. It's not that big. I couldn't record it, guys, because I didn't want to be that person that was trying to vlog every little second. But it honestly felt really good. Like, as soon as I got out, I just felt like a burst of energy. Um, and honestly, it wasn't too bad. Like, being in the freezer wasn't bad at all. I could have did it for like an extra minute, but I'll go back next time. Um, but apparently it's good to do this at least two or three times a week. It helps with sleep, it helps with restoring collagen and restoring cells, um, muscle recovery, etc. So yeah, I work out a lot and I have a really bad time sleeping. So I'm gonna give it a try and see how it goes. If any of you guys do chirotherapy, be sure to let me know in the comments if it actually helps for you or if you wanna try it. I can give you guys some feedback when I do try it out a few more times. But I'm excited. Um, I'm now thinking about getting sushi from this place next door. Just because I haven't eaten anything yet and it's already like 140. Um, then I'm probably get a car wash and I want to check out a few thrift stores. But yeah guys, um, this week has been pretty chill. I hope you guys are enjoying this week's vlog. It's just been really, really chill, honestly. But she's from Nicaragua, thought she was Persian All right, guys, so I just came from the Rail Rail. Um, they actually had some really cute stuff there. I'm excited that I stopped by and went because I found a really cute sweater. Um, I'm gonna show you guys all the stuff I got between these last two days of shopping. But yeah, now I'm gonna go to the Beverly Center and check out the mall there, see what they have at the Webster, go to Balenciaga, and go to Diesel. I really wanna go to Diesel and see what they have. Um, this lady's like waiting for me to move my car, but... <laughs> Yeah, but um, yeah, guys, I'll check in with y'all when I get to the Beverly Center. show you guys what I got throughout these past couple of days while I was shopping well it's only been two days but yeah we're gonna start with what I got from the real world the real world is super cool I love going there sometimes and just checking out what they have it's a lot of good pre-owned things or things that people just sold that they didn't want they just bought it so yeah I went there and I got this really cool like Balenciaga sweater I don't know what season it is but it's really cute Something cool to throw on and match with my other Balenciaga things I have, especially my slides. Like, it'll be like super cute with the slides, you know, Balenciaga, Balenciaga. Like a chill, cute fit. I also went to Gucci and got this ring that I wanted for like a long time, honestly. Like, I, I literally was just there and I was like, let me see what rings they have because I always wanted the Gucci ghost ring. But then. I stumbled across this specific ring. It's like their lion head ring. It's so cute. This is like a really, really good ring. Um, there was another option. I will insert it in here somewhere that I was going to get, but it wasn't gold. It was like gold plated. Um, but I don't think it was worth it because I don't want to pay a lot of money for something that's going to tarnish eventually. Um, with this, it's sterling silver, which is cool. And I want to add more silver to my collection. But I think this is super cool. Um, the perfect gift to myself at the end of Leo season, even though it's September 1st. <laughs> but um, yeah, I think this is a really cute ring. I love it so much. And yeah, I'm gonna get some more other silver rings. This ring is sterling silver, which is why I got it. Um, which means it's gonna last way longer. It's actual silver. I'm gonna like probably go to Chrome Hearts and see if I can get some rings from there because it'll look so cute with some Chrome Heart rings. So yeah, I got that from Gucci. I also went to Diesel. I love Diesel. But I got this shirt, super cool, real chill. Um, it says for successful living, then it has like some distress holes in it. It's cute, grunge, I like it. It'll go cute with just some like cute jeans or some pants, who knows, but I'll 
do with it, but I'm sure I'll do whatever. I'm sure it'll be cute. And then I went to Wasteland yesterday and got just a cool like Harley tank. I love Harley Davidson. Obviously, you guys know I'm wearing Harley Davidson now, and I got like so many Harley Davidson shirts. But you can't go wrong with Harley shirt. I got this cute tank top. Um, I probably will wear it in New York or something. But I can't wait to wear it because it fits really good. It's like a tight crop type of fit. And you know, I'm in the gym. My arms are pretty good. My shoulders, whole upper body. So I'm excited to see how that looks. I also got this Margella vest. I think it's really cool. I love the details on it. Um, it's just really, really nice. It's like that paint type of aesthetic, like the acrylic paint aesthetic they have. I'm excited to style this. You guys know I also love sweater vests. So yeah. Last but not least, I got another Harley long sleeve shirt, which is so cute to me. But yeah, it's like a sunrise type of vibe or like a it's like a tie-dye sunrise vibe. It's long sleeve. The fit of it is so comfortable. Like that's why I honestly got it as well because it fits so comfortable. But it has like some distressed type of vibes going around the collar and also at the bottom it's like a little, like a fringe type of vibe. I like it, it's cool. I love like grunge vibes when it comes to my clothes, distressed, whatever the case may be, whether it's DIY or someone sells it that way. Um, but yeah guys, that was my little shopping haul. I probably will go shopping again the next couple, throughout the next couple of days just to get some more things. But yeah, you know, I'm trying to get pieces in my closet. I feel like I sold like a lot of, I sold a lot of things and I just want to replace them with actual good, good pieces. So yeah, that's my little shopping haul. Um, I'm currently about to make something to eat. I'm going to make like some homemade nachos. I've been craving like nachos. I call it taco salad. I don't know what y'all call it, but yeah, I just went to the store, got all that stuff for it. So I'm going to eat that, probably take a bath later and just relax. Like I didn't go to the gym today. Today's like my complete rest day. So I'm just going to relax and yeah, smoke a blunt, all that good stuff. But with that being said, guys, I may or may not vlog the rest of my night. So I love you guys so much. And yeah, I'll see you guys either tomorrow or in the next clip <laughs> what's up guys hey guys okay so yeah we are currently at Dover street market we couldn't film in there because you know they don't allow you to film in these kind of places but yeah we got some cute stuff um got like two supreme bags one black oh, yeah. one green i already forgot what we got <laughs> yeah we're pretty hot guys and then we also well, i also got like this sweater it's like a lime green black type of sweater it looks oh, so yeah, it's cool cute. Yeah, it's like this color um really really cute it says like supreme on the back i'll show you guys when we get home but we're gonna try to go to some other stores just because we're already out and yeah let's see what today is hitting on um i dropped some things off at the dry cleaners earlier some of the things that i bought yesterday that i showed you guys last night and yeah probably get something to eat who knows but stay tuned guys i also wear my ring that i showed you guys that's super cute season hey guys what's up guys welcome back to the vlog i'm not too even sure at what point we are in this vlog but you know it's just another day um today is actually labor day um and we're just in the house chilling actually i'm in the house chilling Ra actually just left to go hang out with some friends um for labor day i'm pretty sure probably just gonna do like a little cookout chill by the pool and you know enjoy life while i'm in the house working like like, it's not Labor Day. Like, how are you working on Labor Day? Like, isn't a whole point of Labor Day is, I'm not actually sure what the exact point of Labor Day is, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't require labor because it's Labor Day. But that's besides the point. Um, I'm here trying to create some looks. I have a partnership with Amazon this month, so they sent me a bunch of clothes. Um, so now I'm trying to figure out what to put with them and I'm gearing it for like a fall winter vibe or that's the aesthetic that they want to push for um, their clothing brand. So I'm in the house trying to figure out what to wear because I have to create at least four videos. And within those four videos, like I have to have at least 10 looks, I feel, because it's like styling different things, wearing one item, like what you can get out of one item and how to style this item. And there's not the third, you know, the regular degular 
content smuggler shit that we do. Um, but yeah, I'm excited. This is like a really cool partnership because like, I feel like I always shop with Amazon. Like I'm spending so much money there. <laughs> like it's crazy, but like to actually work with them is like pretty cool. So that's dope. Shout out to Amazon. Um, run me that check. Um, I just ordered a couple little shirts. I have actually another order that's being delivered today. Um, is I should be here with like the next couple hours, but got this black Carhartt shirt. Um, this black death row shirt, um, black Dickies and this, it was supposed to be a tan, but it seems like it's a two tone, it's like a brown and a dark tan Carhartt shirt as well. Um, I have, I'm pretty sure it's three other shirts coming as well. So I'm just trying to create as many looks as I can with these four items. And then once that second, um, order gets in today, then I'll like try and create some more looks i don't know it's kind of like short on timing because they want the videos um they want actually today that's what i'm doing um i hope you guys have been enjoying this vlog it's been like an in and out vlog it's just like bits and pieces i forgot like what we actually done throughout this whole entire vlog but i'm pretty sure it's good time good content um and yeah i guess we just it's giving work day in the house so i guess you guys will just see me doing a work day in the house Oh, another thing, it's so clean in here. Like, it's always clean in here, but like, we spent like the last day and morning cleaning up this place, washing all the laundry. I feel like laundry is such a big thing because like, you could wash laundry, but then as soon as you turn around, like it's a whole nother load waiting for you. But like, our baskets are empty. Um, so that's really a good feeling. I don't know, when my laundry is done, it's just like, it's like a type of weight that's lift off your shoulders. Um, so I'm really excited about that. And yeah, place is looking super duper clean. Like I said, it's photo of the laundry. And yeah, kitchen is spectacular, shining. This plant is planning or is going through something. I named him Bruce because I thought he was strong, but now he's giving me a little weak vibe. So I don't know, Bruce, you gotta pull it together. I don't know. But yeah, it looks really, really good in here. I'm about to set up and create the lighting space. I think I'll film in the kitchen area by um, the bar cart and just set up the lightings and get to work. So yeah, stay tuned and enjoy this workday vlog.
what's up guys all right so i'm pretty much like halfway done with my content um i just took like a, a long break you know we take like a little quick break and then it turns into a longer break when it should have been but um it's literally 8 41 right now um i did two videos i have two more to go but my last package just came in so i was also waiting for that so i'm gonna see if like the, the sun's already set it so i'm trying to see if the lighting's still gonna hit um with the studio lights that we have if it's gonna look too washed out then maybe i might wait till tomorrow to film the rest of the looks but if not i might just get it all done tonight but i'm starving i need to eat something i haven't ate since breakfast which only had like three pieces of bacon half a muffin and some eggs like yeah i need something to eat i think i might order from this thai spot actually let me grab my phone i usually get these thai noodles um these garlic thai noodles from this spot it's so annoying. I literally hate ordering from them because it's so expensive. Like, who's charging forty dollars for some noodles? I'm gonna use that. It's probably like at least thirty, but like anything more than twenty dollars for some noodles is crazy. But the noodles are good, so I'm like, mm, damn. Are they open today? Open? Oh, they're closed. That's the only spot that like I was craving to eat. Cause like, I feel like I've said this a million times, but you're limited with your food options in LA. So whatever you got, you gotta make it work. And that's the only spot, that's the only spot that can make it work. Um, I could order some Harold's chicken, but like, I feel like Harold's chicken only tastes good in Chicago. I mean, I mean obviously that's where it originated from. Um, and I've been eating Harold's chicken since I was a kid in Chicago, like growing up, that's, like I could eat that five times out of the day, like breakfast, lunch, and dinner, midnight snack. Like I could eat Harold's chicken. Like you could put it in my veins, and like I would literally live off of Harold's chicken. Um, but I had it once out here, and it was cool. It wasn't like nothing to rave about, but I guess I wouldn't mind having that. Um, this is crazy. Like after a long day of shooting content. Also been washing laundry in between that because I have one last load. It's just like we're washing like the bathroom mats, you know. So I've been working today. I hate reading reviews on DoorDash because I feel like you just read into it and it's just like, okay, this person said it was good, but this person said it was bad. So like, who do I go off of? Like, if someone said the food was bad, like, what more can you say to make it sound good? <laughs> Oh man, okay, spicy orange chicken, hmm, pan fried dumplings, fried crab ragoons. I wouldn't mind some crab ragoon. I don't know what to order. Damn, I really wanted those garlic noodles. I feel like I'm such a play it safe type of guy. Like, if I order something I like it, I will literally order it again from that spot. I'm not trying anything new. Okay, most love and DoorDash. Okay, I guess I'm doing this. Let's do the house fried rice, vegan shrimp. What is vegan shrimp? I'm sorry, I feel like vegans always gotta like force their way into their door. Like, if you're not invited, babe, don't come. What is vegan shrimp? What is vegan beef? How does that even make any sense? Like, I'm kind of confused. And you wanna charge me $2 more? See, the vegan, okay, okay, well, the vegan, vegan shrimp is like a little more expensive than the regular shrimp, so. I give them that, but I'm gonna do the regular shrimp because I never heard of vegan shrimp. Like, what is, like, how does be doing too much? Okay, optional. I don't care for the who blah blah. Okay, I'm gonna do shrimp fried rice, and then we're gonna do their. Like, why are they charging me seventeen dollars for some orange chicken? Like, this is crazy. All right, guys, so I just ordered some Harold's chicken. I came down to my final decision because at that point, like, I was tired and I hate looking for food when I know, like, the options aren't really going to give. But Harold's chicken is going to do the job tonight. It looks okay. It's not giving Chicago style, but, like, and it's crazy. Like, I'm telling you, I love Harold's chicken. And I've been living in LA for the past, what, year and a half now? And I've only had it once. Actually, no, I, I, I had it twice. So the fact that this is my third time having it in a year span, which is like absolutely crazy to me. And I told him to put mild sauce on the side and they didn't put no mild sauce on the side. So you know what? 
I'm gonna go in and report that shit, and y'all gonna give me a refund. But it looks okay. Got me some six piece wings with some fries, and I got me a strawberry lemonade. Honestly, I'm gonna mix it with some 1942 because I'm in the mood to have a couple of drinks. I feel like I've been working all day, and a drink is deserved. A drink is definitely deserved. So I'm gonna have that. I'm gonna chill for a little bit. I'm honestly still debating if I wanna create content or finish creating those videos. Um, but I feel like I've, I'm on like a four hour break right now at this point, so I feel like I should just give it up. Give it up, delicious. Yeah, I wish I would've had it there. I hate when you order fries, and by the time the fries get there, it's all soggy and like, you know, fermented. I hate the word fermented, so I don't even know why I use that, but <laughs> I'ma chill out, rise still out. It's literally 945 now. So I'm gonna just chill, watch the Netflix, and I see what it's given afterwards. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoy this work day with me because I did enjoy it myself. So yeah, I'm pretty confident in the videos that I took. The outfits were cool. It's just sitting down part, like, it's cool to do the videos, but you have to sit down to edit it. That's when the real work comes in. Like, you have to sit down, edit it to the T, do transitions, all that good stuff, and all that good stuff. But I'm going to check in with you guys later, and yeah. It's the day after Labor Day. It's a Tuesday, and I'm just currently chilling in my car. I just got myself some Starbucks, and I actually got... I believe this is a venti right i don't know this is a venti i got it for like seven dollars i don't think ventis are seven dollars a lady i think blessed me i don't know but um, i'm excited it's a great day i just got my nails done as well my nails look really good fresh gel manicure and pedicure you know super hot in la this past week which is cool like i'm actually excited for the hot weather but Ahmad and i will be going to new york tomorrow for new york fashion week so this is the start of the new york fashion week vlog guys so if you're excited be sure to hit that like button be sure to comment below how excited you are because this week is going to be full of greatness full of cool events full of just some fun honestly today's agenda i just got my nails done i actually woke up really early today just to get things out the way because i don't want to be overwhelmed um and i also haven't picked out any of my outfits so i want to make sure that I'm on top of everything, so I just got my nails done. I'm gonna go to the dentist at one o'clock. It's 12, 11 right now. Um, and then I have a haircut appointment after. And then I'm gonna go home and choose my outfits, pick out my look. Not really gonna overthink my outfits this year around. I just wanna go have a good time. And yeah, I feel like I usually will overthink my outfits and all that, but I'm over that. I'm just gonna go have a good time. And yeah, I'm gonna go to eat this cafe really quick, grab something to eat, and then head to my dentist appointment because I know I'm not gonna be able to eat for a few hours afterwards because I have to get fillings. All right guys, so I just got to the dentist. I'm about to get my fillings. I don't know if I can record it here, but I'm gonna try, but I'm actually excited because I'm ready to get it over with. So yeah guys, oh my God, the dentist. All right guys, so I just got numb. I don't know if you guys can tell, but Numbing is good. Love the dentist. They're so cool. It's like my third time being here. And yeah, I'm excited. Perfect teeth only. But yeah, guys, I can barely talk. Alrighty, guys. Okay, so I got my hair cut. It's actually really, 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 really fing good. Like, I love it so much. But um, yeah, shout out to my barber. Shout out to Timo. But um, yeah, I'm about to go home. It's actually um, a really good sunset. I'm in Inglewood right now. It's really beautiful. About to drive home, um, go to the gym eat and then pick out all my clothes for tomorrow um it's looking like a long night guys it's been a very productive day i'm really happy um also at my dentist appointment i got five fillings which kind of feels weird my teeth feel a little weird my whole mouth was numb for like three hours it just went down literally and i just feel regular i'm ready to eat i'm hungry at the dentist i also purchased my invisalign which will be here in three weeks so by the time i get back from new york i will have my invisalign trays which is exciting um but uh, oh, i'm excited guys you can leave the be on you I'll share my world with you. You're gonna lose your time.
What's up guys? So at this point we were pretty much done with the week and we didn't feel like vlogging. So yeah, this is as much footage as we got from Fashion Week, but we hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And yeah, more content coming soon.